Hi everyone, repair time again. This time I have Agilent E3642A power supply. Let's turn it on. Two beeps, which I believe is normal, but nothing on the display. So something must be wrong with it. Let's take a look. Here is the back of the unit. And look at this. We have Agilent calibration sticker. At least no one tried to repair this thing yet. That's good. And here is some other calibration sticker on the bottom of the unit over a screw which holds the cover. Here we are inside. We see a massive transformer here. Power board with a heat sink and fan. And there is one more board on the front panel. And these wires go in there. Let's have a look at the bottom. Nothing very interesting here, just some passives. So I believe we need to take the front panel off and have a look at that. Check this out. I was going to take the front panel off and this piece of glass fell out of the unit. So I think I know why the display is not working. Here is the front panel. Let's pull the knob off. Now we need to remove this window. There are three uh, latches. We need to undo them gently, not to break them. It's a bit hard to undo all of them so they don't latch back. Uh, let me do it off camera. Here it is, carefully removed. And now we can see that the VFD lost its V. In other words, the vacuum escaped. Now we need to undo this nut and then uh, lift this tab just above the stop and uh, shift the PCB this way and pull it out. Here is the front panel board and this piece of glass was right there. I bought a replacement on eBay from China. They are quite expensive, about $100 a piece, but at least they are readily available. So now it's time for my desoldering iron, which is uh, Pace SX100. Check this out. How cool is this? Nice and bright. Look at this reefer cap right here. That's a disaster waiting to happen. This particular one doesn't look too bad. But I have some new ones here. So I'm going to replace it just in case. Now let's do a basic test with electronic load. We have two ranges here, 8 volts 5 amps and 20 volts 2.5 amps. So let's set the maximum on the low range and enable that. And let's set 5 amps here and go. And we hit the limit. I think we should be able to set the current limit slightly higher than the nominal. There you go. Now we are loading this thing at 5 amps, no problem. There is a small voltage drop on the wires, which is fine. Now let's disable this and uh, go to the high range. So let's set the maximum voltage. And now we should be able to load this thing 
at two and a half. Go. No problem. So here we are, Agilent E3642A, repaired and tested. Thanks for watching. Bye.